All right, guys, we are at Mercer County Disc Golf Course. Uh, I'm going to do a practice round uh, to practice for the Discin' for Dogs tournament here uh, on April 3rd. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. <laughs> So we are on hole one. It's a uh, par three, 240 feet, pretty much just dead straight. It is up on this mound, so uh, making sure that the upshot doesn't roll down or the putt hits high. Yikes. So that's gonna be a little left. Maybe I'll throw another one just to see uh, Obviously, you want to be a little bit more right so that you have a uh, pitch up to the basket instead of being on that stuff over there. So I'm going to throw my more beat up Envy, hopefully put it a little bit more right. So that was a little better. Uh, obviously, it did fade out a little bit at the end, but I think I should have a putt. So the second uh, hole here at Mercer um, is a par four, 420 feet. Uh, I believe you just have to hit this gap and then it goes down and to the left. The way, the way I'm trying to play it is I'm trying to hit this gap, have it fade a little bit left. Um, if a driver doesn't work off the tee, I might throw a putter, uh, but it all depends on where I land. So that was really good. Um, it might be just a little left since it skipped, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe push it a little bit longer. All right, so we are on hole three. It's another par four. It's 387 feet. It goes down uh, to that tree in the middle, uh, and then it goes to the right afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna try and throw two. I'm gonna throw my villain forehand, hopefully flip it up a little bit and get it to that tree, maybe past that. Then I'm gonna throw my wave hyzer flip, hopefully make it uh, turn to the right afterwards past that tree. So I guess that's the line with the backhand. All I gotta do is keep it more on the fairway. Can I go? Sure, you can go. There you go, Allie. Good, Good throw. Good job. Hopefully that'll be up and down for par, so. Okay, so this is hole four. It's a par three, 325 feet. 
pretty much dead straight and a little bit of fade to the left at the end. I'm gonna try two shots, see which one works best. My Villain and my FD, uh, there is a tailwind, so I'm hoping that it'll make the FD a little bit more stable, but I'm hoping this doesn't um, fade too fast. So that might be the play even though I didn't get a birdie. Uh, I'll still have a nice upshot for three. Um, since there was a tailwind, again, as I said, it's not gonna, it's gonna fade a little faster. And sometimes that even flips. So we'll see where I am from there. That branch would have been perfect. So we are on hole five. It's a par three, 260 feet. It goes down and slightly to the right, right behind this set of trees. Hopefully, I can throw my uh, my villain. Keep it out toward the left. Hopefully have it fade a little bit closer to the basket. If this doesn't work, I might just throw a turnover with a putter to get it there, but we'll see how this works. That might have been a good, uh, good tree because it would have skipped a little bit right. Alright, so we are on hole 6. It's a par 3, 260 feet. Uh, it goes down and then to the right a little bit there's some um, logs that they've stacked up so that it gives it a little bit of a barrier. I'm going to throw two, a forehand with my villain, hopefully throw it a little bit higher so that it'll dump more right. And then I'm going to throw my vertex which is my understable mid-range, hopefully to have it turn over and get there. Hopefully I'll be able to scramble for par. Come out of it. Good tree. So the play here is definitely to go to left so that you have an upshot for at least par. If you go right off the tee, it's not super good because there's a bunch of uh, different logs back there. So definitely make it sure it's a little left. All right, so we are on hole seven. It's a par three, 250 feet. It's a little bit of an S curve, which is kind of difficult for me. I'm gonna throw a tomahawk with my Zeus. Hopefully put it right there. Flip before that tree and skip near the basket. Then I'm gonna try the forehand straight through this tiny little gap. I don't think it'll work, but it's kind of fun, so. Oh, 
If it wouldn't have hit that tree, it would have panned nicely. Actually, I'm going to try that shot again. Oh. Hopefully that first one will be the best. So I landed about 90 feet from the basket, but before I recorded, I threw this exact same shot and I gave myself a 10 footer. So as long as it doesn't hit any of these trees coming in and skips, I think it'll get even closer. Good run. Oh, par isn't bad. This hole I don't like. It's kind of kind of difficult. Hole eight is a par four. That's 480 feet. It goes down past that group of trees. You want to pass that to the left and then you'll have an upshot to the basket. I'm gonna throw my villain on a forehand. Uh, it has been flipping up a little bit, so I'm hoping that uh, it just stays straight or it turns a little bit and fades at the end. Hopefully it doesn't turn all the way over. Miss that. Oh. I might have a, uh, a look from there. So the play on this hole, I think, is to be a little bit more left because as you can tell, I'm a little bit cut off. The basket's down and to the right. I'm gonna have to play a skip shot off the ground so that it gets to the basket. But if I land a little bit more left, like I throw a backhand hazy, Hades flip up and go straight, I can land up there, which will tell me that I have a straight shot right to the basket. That skipped a little bit too far to the right, but I'm hoping, hoping I'm gonna have a putt. All right, so we are on hole nine. It's a par three, 350 feet, dead straight. All you wanna do is get out of the gap get out of the gap you'll have a pretty much an easy upshot after that I'm going to throw my Hades have it flip up slightly maybe turn and come back at the end there we go go dead straight there we go I'm happy with that because at least I made it out of the gap and I'm near the basket All right, so we are on hole 10. It's a par four, 610 feet. Um, basically, there's two gaps. You can either throw a forehand off the tee or a backhand off the tee. Uh, the basket's just down there, so basically you wanna have just a good upshot after your drive. I'm gonna throw my Hades, have it flip up a little bit. There's a little bit of a headwind, so hopefully it doesn't turn over too much. If it does, I'm gonna throw just something flat and have it dive left. It was a little low, but I think that from there I can still get up and down for birdie. That was a little better. If I throw a forehand, I don't want to skip into the woods on the left. Run. 
All right, so we are on hole 11. It's a par three, 185 feet. Uh, it's pretty easy, um, par three. So hopefully I can get a birdie just by throwing my zone up there and uh, parking it. Hey, can we go in? Oh, it's long. <laughs> that was a good ace run. So all I have to remember on that one is I can't throw it super far. Um, and if I do, just make sure that I can make the comebacker. Okay, so after the little bit of a missed putt there uh, on hole 11, we're on hole 12, it's a par three. I'm gonna play the 400 foot hole just because I don't know what layout we're gonna do for the disc and for dogs tournament. I'm gonna throw my Hades. Um, there is a little bit of a right, uh, left to right wind so I'm hoping to get it down by that basket. Come on, turn. I'll have an easy upshot, but that was not a good throw. I'm gonna try my other Hades, see if it'll um, be a little better. Oh no, it turned over. Oh, roll back to the middle. So that was what I was afraid of for the first throw. That's why I threw it a little bit more to the left. So that'll be good. I'll have an easy upshot for par. All right, so the uh, the short basket is actually there, 230 feet from the uh, from the tee pad. So uh, I threw to the other one over there for 400 feet. Uh, so I'm hoping that that's the one we're gonna throw to. If we're throwing to the 231, it will be a little bit easier but for now, I'm practicing to the long one. Sit down. That'll be uh, hopefully a good putt for three. All right, so we are on hole 13. It's a par three, 310 foot, dead straight. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna throw here, either a flip up mid range or a slightly flip up uh, FD uh, fairway. Uh, there is a slight headwind, so something that I throw on hyzer hopefully won't turn over too far. I'm gonna throw my mid range first. That got down there. Try the FD. Turn. So that's not where you want to be. You do not want to be behind that big bush. So I think I'm going to go with the mid range because it flipped really nicely at the end. So we are on hole 14 after that great putt on uh, 13. Uh, it's 405 foot par three. If you see these two little trees, it's right behind that. I'm hoping that I throw my uh, villain out there, maybe a little bit over the road so that it'll slightly flip up, ride the headwind that we have and uh, dump by the basket. My usual range is 370 to 380. So I'm hoping that if I really put some power on it, it'll flip up and uh, dive left. Just like that. So that is a little bit short, but I feel like that's the best case scenario. So 
we are on hole 15. It's a par three, 345 feet. You gotta throw it flat and have something slightly turn over. Um, hopefully get it near the basket. I'm gonna throw my wave, slight little bit of hyzer, have it flip up and then turn to the right at the end. That might be a little bit short, but I'm happy that I got out of the gap. Park that one. So we were on hole 16. It's a par three, 300 feet. It goes down, simple forehand, at least for me, into that elevated basket inside that uh, spider looking tree. I gotta remember to keep it left because you do not want to be right. So I'm gonna throw my villain again. There we go. Come back, right, skip. It rolled a little bit at the end, so hopefully I'll have a putt. Set. Oh. Ah. That tree got in my head. All right, so we only have two holes to go. This is hole 17, it's a par three. T sign says 312, I don't know how close that is, but basically you wanna shoot just dead straight and have a simple little fade at the end. Again, I'm throwing my villain, pump it down there, fade to the left. That might fade a little bit too far to the left, but I'm still happy I made it out of the gap. Yeah. Yes. Oh. All right, so we are on hole 18, the last hole. It's 340 feet, just dead straight. There is a slight right to left wind. I'm gonna pump my uh, villain down there again. Uh, I absolutely love this disc. It's awesome for just the constant fade at the end. Um, hopefully I don't hit one of those people down there. Uh, but yeah. Yes, that is where I'm aiming. In the hole. Oh, a little short, but I think that works. Yep. Yes. All right, guys, I hope you like the, uh, the little series on my practice round. Uh, this will be the first in this series. I hope to do a few more practice round videos, just like Jomez does. Uh, you'll see my score down, down here at the bottom. I got to tally it all up. Uh, it should be close to five under. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, check out our other videos on our channel. Uh, we really appreciate the, uh, the like and the comment. So uh, and please subscribe. So uh, I'll see you again next time.